everyone beautiful people my name is Jane and this is the overseas nursing band how are you how are you really doing all right welcome to today's um, teaching blog or whatever I don't know anyway today I'll be talking about um, GCS that's Glasgow coma skill so this is um, used for the neurological assessment and observation charting so if a patient or somebody is in your hospital is in your ward and just came in probably they had a fall and hit their head yeah um it's a clinical skill anyway used to reliably measure a person's level of consciousness after a brain injury okay so today i was i'm just going to talk about it and what usually happens is during oski we know our assessment includes news to gcs PHQ-9 and MOST and we've done news 2 and PHQ already. What I want to say is um, the protocol for starting is the same as um, news 2 have done it. So if you go back to watch the video, I'm just going to discuss how to chat this, how to um, chat your observation on this chat, on this form. Okay. So um, let's get right into it. Um, so first of all, you when you are doing your OSCE, you get this form and you get a scenario. So on this form, it has the candidate's name, patient's name. So don't forget to write your name. Very, very important. You write your name like so, and then you write your patient's name. Mr. Ted Hudson has been our patient um, for a while now. So I think we'll just continue in that theme and say our patient's name is TJ Hudson, Mr. TJ. Okay. He's, he's in the bed today and he says hello to everyone. <laughs> anyway, so what you're going to do also make sure you write the hospital number and then you put your time. Very important. So the first thing that you'll be looking at when you're chatting, observing these patients, a scenario, Mr. Ted Hudson um, was involved in a road traffic accident, had was concussed and then came in unconscious and now you've come to check assess him mr tj to see how he's doing so what first thing you're going to do is there's your eye opening so when you come to his ward say hi mr T oh, hi i'm your nurse jane i've come to assess you today so what what is his response with his eye opening was it spontaneous did he just immediately open his eyes or did you have to call, tap him and say, Mr. TJ, Mr. TJ, something like that too. Or was it? So, so let's say Mr. TJ opened his eye, immediately I came in, oh, and then, so you're going to give him a four, it was spontaneous. And then verbal, was he orientated? Was he confused? Did he use his words or sounds? So depending on, so on this issue, instance tj was orientated so we give him a five i just want to pause quickly here and say um some centers where you're doing your oski they might want you to write out the numbers so find out from your center what they want before you go in so you'll be able to write in the right thing all right so the next thing is the um motor response so what this means is you're trying to um ask them to perform simple tasks for example you say oh can you stick out your tongue for example so when you say can you stick out your tongue tj does he obey simple instructions he obeys or is he localized is it normal flexion abnormal flexion so he obeys As, mr tj can you stick out your tongue and he did so we put it on a six all right moving on we go to um here you also have to do your normal blood pressure and your pulse rate so you record it properly and see the way it's recorded so you use an arrow on either side with um broken line to make sure your blood pressure for this patient and then the temperature is on that side so you put what your temperature that you receive from i just want to go up a bit usually you will not have but in case i close by swelling so you just write c in that situation or 
if the person is on the um in in an in the tracheal tube so due to tracheostomy or so you put a t there all right so let's go down further this is very simple honestly and then you obviously you put an x for your temperature and then for the respiration as well you mark it with an x and your pulse and x those are just the normal one so now coming to the pupil you have your you want to check um the reaction so you have your pen your torch there you go from the outside to the inside but you have to make sure they are um mr tj is not wearing a contact lens and his eyes are open okay he doesn't have any problem in his eyes so you take your pen torch you go from the outside to the inside flash your torch and see the reaction of the people so if you look up here you see on the big dotted so there's one two three four five depending on the reaction normally with your normal reaction should be between four that's a normal so that's when how the size of the people should be so, so, you check the right eye first and it says if it reacted so it was positive you can see it here it reacts so you put a cross if there was no reaction you put a dash a minus if your eyes were closed you put a c there so it shows you the size four and it was reactive obviously if you could put a four it means it was reactive four and then you check the left eye as well going from the inside to the out um, from the outside to the inside as well and then you come to limb movement you want to see how the uh, limbs are normal you go with the arms first and then the legs so for the arms you want to check you give a set of instructions for mr tj to follow and then you'll be able to say probably tell him to lift his arms and apply pressure for and ask him to resist the pressure you know so normal power or mild weakness depending so for this one we're saying he has no power I was able to resist it and we go for the same for the legs as well mr tj's legs he was able to um resist to be able to lift his leg and you apply slight pressure as if you're trying to push it down towards the bed where he's lying and what he's supposed to do is try to move it against your hand and not let it touch the bed so that's sort of pressure all right not too much and then you get your you calculate your total score for here we have 15 so once this is 15 so that's a normal score so it means this patient that you're dealing with is fully conscious okay it means they are fully conscious and don't forget to check the oxygen saturation and um put your initials down okay all right before i go too forward i'll pause a bit here as well to just say when you're checking you have to check both right arms and left arms so you have to put r right record so it says record right r and left you separately if there's a difference between the two sides so but if there's no difference you just put the dot so if there's a difference you can now say maybe you can put r whatever and depending on what you get on your uh, scenario all right so moving forward like i always say it's very important to put down your initials put down the date let's go back upwards a bit now put down the date very important as you have on here and then as well your initials please it's very important so what happens is hello um as you know as usual what we do you when you come in you say oh hi hello my name is jane um i'm your nurse today and then you you talk about providing privacy you do your three um three checks so your checks you're doing you're doing um the name the date of birth and hospital id because if you have um a neurological assessment it's definitely in the hospital okay it's a hospital scenario so that's what you so remember to do all of those identify yourself check for um allergies and any of such 
so that you'll be good but to get a full view you can go back to my videos initial videos all right so thank you for listening today i hope um, this has been helpful in helping you on how to chart your form your new um, gcse form i hope this helps and i'm wishing you all the very best in your upcoming um, forthcoming oski exams and soon you'll be a pinned nurse and be able to practice in the united kingdom wish you all the best and thank you for listening um if you think this will be helpful to other people you know can you share it to them and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye see you next week <laughs>